Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're all doing well. Today I want to show you how you can have your own movie theater at home and be able to experience cinema quality movies without breaking the bank. And I'm sure you're going to impress your friends with this. Coming up next. And by the way, this video is brought to you by Wondershare Uniconverse Software. Uniconvert is an all-in-one video tool which integrates the best video converter which helps you to convert any video to over a thousand different formats like MP4, MOV, AIV, 3GP, MKV and many more. And it's also packed with some easy to use tools like image converter, download video tool which allows you to download and convert videos from the internet like YouTube, GIF maker which creates GIFs for social media with pictures or videos, screen recorder, record your whole desktop activities with audio simultaneously, fixed media metadata, media transfer, it will allow you to transfer media directly from your mobile device like iPhone and Android, video compression, compresses video without quality loss, cast to TV, casts videos to a TV as a media server, VR converter, converts videos to VR format to watch it on a VR headset, CD burner, and finally CD ripper. You can download and try Uniconverter for free and it will let you use all these tools I just mentioned for a few times before asking you to upgrade to the full version. And if at the moment you can afford this software, Wondershare also has another program called Free Video Converter which has almost all the tools that Uniconvert has, but it's a little more limited to the things you can do. Links to all this in the video description. All right, so essentially you need a projector and I'm pretty sure you're familiar with them. But today I'm talking specifically about this mini projector. Uh, they call it mini projector because it's not the full size of a regular projector, but we're not paying a premium price for it either. You can find this projector on Amazon for around 89 US dollars at the time I recorded this video. But here's the cool thing about it. The image can expand up to 200 inches before it starts getting too blurry. It's almost the size of a wall if you think about it. And if you're in the market to buy a new TV, well, this is a good alternative, plus you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars on a tiny screen TV. This projector has an HDMI port and it will allow you to connect pretty much any device like a DVD, Blu-ray player, gaming consoles like Xbox or PlayStation or a computer, as well as streaming devices like the Fire Stick or the Google Chromecast. I'm gonna talk more about these devices later in the video. Also, it has a very loud internal speaker, so you don't have to worry about buying one separately. And it does come with a 3.5mm headphone jack if you want to connect an external speaker to enhance the audio quality. And of course, has a remote. Alright, so let's go ahead and get everything set up. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is to connect the power cord on the back of the projector. Just connect your media device. It could be a gaming console or a computer, and you can use the HDMI port or VGA port. In this case, I'm using the Google Chromecast, which you can get for $35. And I'm using the USB port to feed power to it. Here are a few tips to set up the projector. First, try to find a nice wall to be your screen. If your wall is a really dark, weird color, I would suggest to buy a white screen online. You can find a 120 inch screen for around $25. Try to place the projector as far as you can from the wall. This will allow you to get a bigger image. And also, it's very important if you can place the projector up high as you can because you don't want anyone to walk or sit in front of it 
and block the light from it. And also, I will suggest to find something big in your house to put the projector on, like this closet. If you can find anything like this, I will suggest to buy a tripod with a laptop stand, which you can find online for around $20 or less. Or just try to be creative with some stuff you may have at home. One thing you're gonna notice is that the image at first, it may look a little bit blurry, but you can easily fix that by using the dial knob thingy. You can just turn it until it looks sharp enough for you. If you already know what media device you're going to use, just go ahead and plug it in. But if you're just planning to watch Netflix and YouTube, I will suggest to buy a Google Chromecast so you can watch all your movies and videos and you can control it with your phone. It's very easy. By the way, you can also use the USB port to feed power to the Chromecast. And that's pretty much it. Now you can invite all your friends over and have a nice movie night. For my own experience with this projector, I think it's actually really good. It's bright enough and the image quality, it's not bad at all. Of course, it may not be the brightest projector you can find, but it's a very good value for the money. And I'm sure you can find a better one, but you're gonna have to pay a lot more for it. And before I wrap up this video, I would like to mention a few things before you go ahead and buy one. If there's a little bit of light in the room, it's not gonna look so good. Just make sure to use curtains for any window or just use it at night. If you're planning to use this in a bright place, then I will suggest to buy a TV instead. Um, the speaker, it's loud enough, but it sounds a little bit squeaky, but you can fix this by connecting some nice external speakers. Other than that, I don't think you will regret buying this projector. And that's pretty much it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any question or video suggestion, please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe if you wanna watch more videos like this one. Until the next time.